But the pandemic in 2020, that's when things started to shift. Mm -hmm. And then the brain started like, okay. Started praying like, Lord, why am I on this, why am I on this earth for? But I kind of stopped and just prayed like, I need to do something more with my life. More meaningful, serve a higher purpose and start living for others instead of for myself. And right now, it's not the best time or popular time to be a police officer. And we're reminded of that on a daily basis. But, um, but for me, you know, I'm serving the Lord. You know, that's who's called me to be here in this specific time. Mm -hmm. um, so that gives me comfort. It's like, Lord, you know, I'm here for you. Awesome. You know, it is, it's not money. It's not materialism, none of that stuff. It's, to me, it's overall being a good human being, you know, and just, you know, just serving others. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Winning Conversations. I am Daniel. With here is Andy. That is my name, oh Andy. My, yes. Oh my gosh! I know. So nice to meet you. I know, right? And our <laughs> special guest for today is Mr. Rudy. How are you, sir? Howdy, Rudy Quintero. Yes, sir. How are you doing? Good. Happy to be here. Uh, thank you for having it's me. Good to have you on the pod. It's very happy good to have to you here. on the pod. Yes, I've, 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 I've uh, watched every episode. And have you really? Yeah. Oh my since gosh! The, since the beginning, yeah. So. And Let's who's see. your favorite host? Uh, I can't say. I'll I'm tell just you. Um, I can tell you. It's, 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 it's so hard to choose. It really oh is. Because every every we're story. We're all just so just, good. What has yeah. happened? We just no. became little children at a boy no, band concert. No, it's great. Oh my I mean, gosh. every uh, every episode, their, their stories are so unique and yeah. so awesome, and you know, I love it. Well, amazingly, that is why you were here, good sir, oh, because yes. your story belongs on this show. Yes. Um, Kind of, I, I want to know because I've seen you from like the sides. Obviously, mm -hmm. you've had a, a little escalation in this church from like serving as a host to a greeter type of thing. But like, mm -hmm. I want to go before that. How did you come to Heritage of Faith? Like, how did you get here? Well, I've been a member since 2017 and um, I used to ride my motorcycle up and down uh, right here. And that H stood out. And during that time, um, I was looking for a church to kind of really just plug in um, and just grow my faith, mm -hmm. you know. Um, just getting serious with my faith and I wanted a church. So, okay, this is it. And I prayed about it and it just made sense. It's like, why not this one? You know? Um, so seeing that age just drew me. It's hard to explain. Which uh, we've heard that before. It is a, so yeah, mm -hmm. we have like yeah. people see the Danny logo. Hill. Was it Danny Hill? Saw Danny the Hill. And I think there's someone else there's who saw our else. logo oh, yeah. in a dream mm -hmm. and that's how they got wow. here. Which I think that's crazy because there's, I mean, there's a church on every corner mm -hmm. that you could have easily chosen. Right. Any no. other one? No, just ride my motorcycle and like, oh, okay. yeah. it wasn't the street that curved you in. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. No. Are you sure about that? <laughs> I'm positive because it curves me in every yeah. time. Yeah, it does. It's easy, but no, it was yeah. the it was the age, and that was 2017, and uh, we've been members ever since. Awesome, amazing. And so you come here, and you're like, are you just immediately just wanting to sit in the seats and kind of be fed, or are you looking to serve, or how'd that go? Um, no, I'm the kind of guy that sits in the back and just you know listens. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, uh, and at that time, you know, just the service is like so on fire, the music, the praise and worship. I'm like, yes, this is what it's <laughs> supposed to be. Mm -hmm. You know, just on, just seeing the people on fire and uh, gen genuinely being welcomed by, uh, you know, Tony Jordan, um, that guy. Le Levy, <laughs> and Jenny, that guy. you know, they just great people, you know, just just engaging, you know, and, you know, to me, it meant a lot. Mm. Uh, and still this day, they still, you know, it's like it's like they just. The friendship has grown, yeah. and it's uh, it's priceless, and yeah. uh, and like I said, it was uh, just the praise and worship. You know that drew me in, and you know that it kind of ignited the fire. Sure, like this is you know this I want to I don't want to be lukewarm for the Lord. This is mm -hmm. just where I felt I needed to be. Mm. Yeah, and it's not you know like a I wasn't looking for a church to make me feel good. You know I really wanted to grow in my faith and spiritual and Bible based, and grow overall grow. Uh, and this is it's been that ever since that's awesome and you started whenever you started serving you were an usher and then mm -hmm. you got on the security team correct yeah tony jordan uh just out of the blue uh, said he wanted me on his team usher team i'm like sure <laughs> i mean i've never done uh you know greeting people and finding help them find seats so it's like sure i mean i was just being obedient to yeah to serve mm -hmm. and yeah did that for a couple of years until this year where i transitioned to david's team so David's Once again, David's out of the blue. It's always David's called David's team. team. David's you know team. I mean? David's For those of you who don't know, that's the security team. Security, yes. security right, team. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I, there's so many stories that start from saying yes to obedience. And this, like when people just are asked to put into a position of service, mm -hmm. and the people that say yes to that, that's how most of these stories begin. Mm -hmm. Like not looking for any specific thing, just yeah. saying, hey, can you serve? 
Yes. Yes, I can. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like, let me know what you want me to do. I've never been an usher before. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I'll wear a suit. Right. And it just comes down to me, um, I think, just being obedient and just kind of getting out of your comfort zone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in in the natural, it might not seem like it's a big job or a big responsibility, but you have to remember you're serving in, in the house of the Lord. And, you know, those components, they all make up, you know, the body of Christ. That's good. Absolutely. Absolutely. Really good. So you took a weird career journey. I did. <clears throat> Very weird. Like, so people don't know, like, so you are now currently mm-hmm. on the Fort Worth PD, correct? correct. Yep. That's amazing. Congratulations. Um, yes, congratulations. Sworn. Thank you. But I kind of want to back up. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> How did we get here? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like, so what were you doing before this? I was working in the oil rig uh, parts distribution uh, business in Mansfield literally for 15 years uh, and the pandemic sort of changed a lot of things mm-hmm. uh, as far as business and the way things were being handled in that particular business. And uh, so I was there for 15 years, literally just, you know, comfortable, you know, money was good. Um, I was in good leadership, leadership position. And, uh, but the pandemic in 2020, that's when things started to shift mm-hmm. and then the brain started like, okay, started praying like, Lord, why am I, the, why am I in the search for? It's not to satisfy my desires. So, you know, the pandemic to me, you know, that's when it kind of started to have some revelation mm-hmm. on me. It's like, why mm-hmm. am I on this earth for? It's like, you know, you, I've been blessed tremendously throughout my life. Um, but I kind of stopped and just prayed like, I need to do something more with my life, mm-hmm. more meaningful, serve a higher purpose and start living for others instead of for myself. So 2020 was the start of that and then you know, I saw that the Fort Worth Police Department was uh, hiring, and I just thought, well, I have these credentials. So I figured I'd throw my name in the hat, you know, I applied. And that was December uh, 16 of 2021 when I applied. And it was like the last day for applications to, that was like the last de- day of the deadline. Mm. So I'm like, okay, it, I talked to my wife, I'm like, okay, I need to s- submit it or not, because this is like the last day. What did mm. she think about that? Seriously. She, has, she was very hesitant. What? Yeah. Because, no way. No way. I, mean, I know, right? <laughs> I mean, because, you know, the dangers and yeah. a complete 360 from living our comfortable life. Sure. To yeah. kind of, you know, going out and not being comfortable. I mean, you're sacrificing a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, um, you know, she sacrificed with me. You know, that's one thing that, that uh, family members don't get enough credit, you know, when, when you're, sure. you're transitioning into this uh, career, yeah. you know, my wife was left to, you know, pick up the slack because I'm at the academy for X amount of hours. So, and we had a newborn at the time. So, mm-hmm. you know, she was left with a huge responsibility mm-hmm. and while I pursued this career. So um, that's wow. a major weight. Yeah. Sure. You know, so, and but she was overall, she was very supportive. You know, we prayed about it. Um, you know, this is, I told her this, is, I feel this is what the Lord's called me to do. Yeah. And, uh, you know, she knows about being obedient and, you know, following the Lord. And, uh, and yeah, we, we talked about it and you know, she was supportive. And it, I guess if we think about what's going on in the world mm-hmm. during 2021, mm-hmm. it's not like, again, police aren't having the best no, image. No, and that still yeah. continues out now. I think as other events across the country affects everybody. The pro- mm-hmm. You know, if one state does something terrible, it affects the whole profession, including sure. us. Mm-hmm. Even Thanks though we're so. thousands of miles away from mm-hmm. where it happened, it affects the whole profession. And right now, it's, it's not the best time or popular time to be a police officer. And we're reminded of that on a daily basis, but um, but for me, you know, I'm serving the Lord. You know, that's who's called me to be here in this specific time. Mm-hmm. Um, so that gives me comfort. It's like, Lord, you know, I'm here for you. I know you're going to protect me and go where I need to be, put me with the right people, and help who I need to help. So that gives me comfort, you know, in doing this job. Was this an easy, I mean, it, I'm sure it wasn't an easy decision, but how did it ease your mind or how did you get confirmation that this was something that you were supposed to do? Yeah. I, I talked to Pastor Justin about it. Uh, we prayed and mm. among our church family, because we I'm connected to the part of the, like Levy and Jenny, mm-hmm. you know, we mm-hmm. stood in faith and a lot of our church members just stood in faith. We prayed about it. Um, and like I said, um, things just kind of opened up and blossomed mm-hmm. and, you know, it was quite amazing, you know, from applying to taking the civil service exam, which is a three-hour exam looking at a computer. Uh, so doors just opened up. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, and that gave me confirmation. Okay, Lord, this door open. I'm going to walk through it. If it's your will, you open sure. up the door. Right. If, if not, let's yeah. just stop sure right that. here. Yeah. If it's not your will. And no, all the doors kept opening up to my amazement. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I don't know how 
it did or it's hard to explain it it's like i'm not going to try to figure out how it happened but it just happened and i know it's it was the lord every every step of the way just going from glory to glory to glory well there's a huge difference between wanting to do something and being called to it right you know and yeah. that's yeah and that's I, when it becomes the path of least resistance mm-hmm. like it just mm-hmm. was easy yeah, yeah. Doesn't make sense, but it was right. easy because that's yeah. what the Lord wanted. Right. Yeah. I mean, at first, my and what I wanted to do was be a rock star. I was, you know, in, in a band. <laughs> too late. Me. Too late, sir. I love that. Right. Huh? Yeah. Huh? yeah. I wanted to be a rock star. I mean, because you know, it was something I was good at. Good at yeah. writing songs, composing, and that's what I wanted. You okay. Know? And it was fun. Uh, it looked promising, but it was just a bottomless void. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I was on the radio. Everything looked great in the natural, wow. but it didn't pan out. Like, okay, well, this is not what... It wasn't in the cards for me. Did right? you think, like, rock star life, and now you're a police officer? Like, those are very... It's a lifetime movie different. waiting to happen. Yes. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's a complete 360. You know, I had my long... <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> had my long hair, you know, and everything. You know, I had my leather jacket. You know, it was it was great. It was fun while it lasted, but, I mean, yeah. it didn't pan out, and, and I accepted it. You know, regardless if you had the talent and all the right connections, it didn't pan out. Yeah. And that's fine. You know, I'm much better where I am need to be, where God wants me to be than where I want. And that's where right. the question is, you know, it's the difference between wanting and doing or being called to do uh, where you're meant to do. Uh, so I went from wanting to be a rock star to being <laughs> an actor. Uh, and I had some... Makes sense. Wow. So it was fun. You know, I did some... Uh, some. I was an extra on a TV show called 1883. It was an old Western. Um, that is so cool. Yeah, it's a spinoff from Yellowstone. That was, yes, that's, yeah, I'm like, I know. I'm like, why does that sound familiar yeah. besides the yeah, year? So that was fun. I'm like, once again, it looked promising, uh, but it didn't pan out. And so pandemic rolled around full swing and just changed everything. And <laughs> that's, here that's we are. That's amazing. I know. I'm like, I'm like, that wasn't even what we're going to talk about. But now I'm like, that all right. So, so, so tell me about your West Coast management. And yeah. you're not like, um, <laughs> no, I mean, it's like, you know, it just goes back to, you know, I'm just seeking, self-seeking my desires. Yes. Mm. And just, you know. I heard a message about that recently. (laughs) There was a message about that recently. Right. So, I mean, I just kind of got serious with my faith. Like, okay, Lord, where do you want me to go? I'm tired of going in my direction. Lead me where you want me to go. Yeah. And what has that been like in terms of that, making that decision? What has been the spiritual shift from that? Just staying in faith overall and trusting the Lord fully because it's a commitment. You don't want to have one leg in and one leg out. It's either you're all in yeah. or all out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And to me, that's like, okay, I'm all in, you know, I'm willing to sacrifice what I need to be set. Sa- what needs to be sacrificed, whether it be time, financial uh, stuff. I mean, I made that commitment to the Lord mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. fully committed. Not just like, mm, even when things kind of look kind of dim or not so uh, promising. It's yeah. like, okay, Lord, no, I'm, we're going through it. Mm. And he blesses that faithfulness. Absolutely. Well, and so often you... Like, that's what the world thinks. Like, being a Christian means you have to give up all the fun things in life that you want to oh, do. No, like, no. oh, I don't yeah. have fun anymore. I've got to, like, live no. this boring <laughs> Ned Flanders life. life. No. Yeah, and it doesn't work that way. Like, no. there's so much joy in the obedience. Absolutely. Yes. I mean, just having peace <clears throat> in your life and, you know, I mean, I, 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 I can have fun still. I can, you know. <laughs> you darn right you can. Yeah. Yeah, I can still ride my motorcycles, you know, um, dirt bikes, whatever. You know, it's, uh, there's plenty of fun things. It's just a lot of misconceptions for sure. Yes, yes. Uh, I just, yeah. I was like when someone's like, like, when you're doing the thing that the Lord wants you to do, there's just such a joy and a peace mm-hmm. and a right. comfort that comes from it. That, you, that, that peace that surpasses all understanding type moment. Absolutely. Like, this is what I'm supposed to be. Right. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, and, so and, it, and, and it makes feels good. Sense. It feels good getting up every morning knowing that you're fulfilling where God wants you to, wait, where God placed you mm-hmm. and um, just fulfilling your purpose, if that makes sense. And now has your okay. faith played out in your new role? Like, uh, absolutely. How is that? I think I, I couldn't do this job without my faith. I couldn't do this job without having Christ in my as my Lord and Savior. It would be impossible for me. It'd be no way for me to survive this 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 far without having a strong foundation in the Lord. So I can't think of like one day like yeah I need the Lord every day in this mm. in this profession for me. Yeah. And we, we have a lot of, uh, we're fortunate enough to have a lot of officers in, that go to this church, and they all yeah. have the same thing. It's like the reoccurring theme of, like, I don't know how you do this job without it. Right. I don't and know the, how I go get the mail without it, but you know what I mean. Like, uh, yes. your job specifically <laughs> is I mean, just especially just in this culture that we live in, though, is it's a very anti-police mm-hmm. culture that we live in. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, even in Fort Worth, which Fort Worth's one of the better, I feel like, 
one of I the think better it is. ones. I really do. But you know what? But even mm -hmm. still here, it's going to, like you said, like it's going to trickle down. You're going to mm -hmm. still get that. And yes. it's it's a lot of pressure. I mean, it is. it is a lot to handle in this political culture that we live in. It is. And, then, you know, the pressure can consume you if you let it. That's why you have to stay. And I guess that's what I'm kind of wondering is mm -hmm. how will you, like, how do you control that for yourself? <sighs> Because it you know, will get diff. I mean, of it's course. going to get mm. difficult. The, the best thing I do is just pray, stay in prayer every daily before you put on the uniform. Just pray, spend time with the Lord. Uh, that's what I do, and that's kind of just kind of like okay, builds me up, and so I can handle whatever comes my way for that day. Because we go, we we you do uh, go through a lot of negatives encounters, mm -hmm. and that's fine. You have to remain a professional, but uh, for me, it's just you know just being prayed up in the spirit, mm. you know, and Never letting that go, you know, just remember why you're here and what you're doing and serving, first and foremost. I guess it also helps, too, that you have people on your side who are praying you up as well. Absolutely. I mean, family members, friends, uh, church members. Church family, they yeah. They keep me in their prayers, you know, and, <clears> they, and they tell me, they like, hey, I'm praying for you. Yeah. Just out of the blue, too. I mean, uh, they just, hey, I'm just thinking about you. Have a good day. Stay safe out there. And to me, that means a lot. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And so like being in this church and like being connected to mm -hmm. it, like what, what is the, you've been here since 2017? Yes. Okay. So again, that's like going on eight years, seven years, eight years. I'm not good at math. Math. Oh, it's, it's the Carry thing. the seven divided by four. <laughs> Close enough. Oh no. <laughs> Square root of. Um, We're smart. Right? We are smart. <laughs> <laughs> what has been the thing that the, the significance of staying here this entire time? Cause you, you, we're seeing this a lot in the conversations of people that have, that have come here and then this is, this is home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're not, you don't, Obviously, people come here for seasons, and there's people that they're mm -hmm. here for a time to get ministry. Like, they're going to go off into ministry, and there's mm -hmm. a lot of it being sent out. But then there's people like yourself that are serving. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. they get here, and then, like, I'm serving here. Mm -hmm. What is what is the uniqueness about this house that does that? For you. For you, I mean, yeah. for me, it's like I mentioned before. <clears throat> mentioned before is uh, knowing that you're serving in the house of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and that's a privilege, and it's an honor to serve, to dedicate time to um, – serving in whatever capacity within the church. And uh, to me, it's the re I find it satisfying that I'm doing this for the Lord. Yeah. You know, this is where God placed me. And uh, I, I take huge responsibility and take it very seriously. Uh, almost too serious sometimes. <laughs> we were going to talk to you about that, but no, not yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I told you to smile more. And... Uh, <laughs> Brother Jerry uh, told me I look like a CIA agent. Um, Listen, <laughs> that is true. You do. <laughs> you 100% do. It's like, okay, do, I yes. don't know if it's a compliment. Or okay, I'll, yeah. but I'll take I mean, it. You know, ah. But um, no, I mean, just, just knowing that I'm serving and um, a higher purpose in me, you know, uh, and I'm a vessel. And I ask, the yeah. Lord, I ask the Lord to use me, and he's using me. Mm. I, just, I don't know. There's, there's, this, there's something powerful about that because I know there's – to take – I just look at it from like the – like you're controlling your household. You have finances, you have all these things yeah. and you have to make big life changing decisions. I want to take a job that is not an awesome job publicly. You're right. That my life is in jeopardy. It's danger mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm dangerous. taking a pay cut. Taking a pay cut. I'm doing a lot of things that on paper. With kids and a wife at home. A brand new baby, mm -hmm. a wife that's so down for it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all these check marks mm -hmm. that in the natural make no sense. Right. No, in the natural and worldly, no. Like my, Certain family members said, this makes no sense. They what were you, right. What are you doing? Yeah. You know, this is madness. You know, you're giving up a good thing to basically taking a leap into the unknown. Sure. Because right. I don't come from a, I don't have no military background. And all my family is blue collar, you know. So yeah. never served in the military and have no prior law enforcement experience. So this is a huge step in a different direction. Yes. And family members would say, you know, try, I guess discourage me because right. they said like hey you have your life is so good you know you have this and that you have a home you have your cars everything and we know why would you rock the boat yeah and they just don't understand like no this is a calling you know i'm trying to serve a higher purpose and you know and when god called you to do something you know you have to be obedient and trust him fully mm -hmm. yeah and uh i try to, that's what i try to put across family members but it didn't really make sense right. to them and worldly Yes. Well, and that's the thing is like the, they're gonna, like they're going to you're going to try and be talked out of the promise mm -hmm. that you've been given, the future that mm -hmm. God wants for you mm -hmm. and that people come from all angles mm -hmm. to try to get you to not believe, to right. have doubt mm -hmm. and not mm -hmm. have faith yeah. in. Yeah. And it's just something that's amazing cuz like it, that makes perfect sense that people would come like what are you doing? Mm -hmm. 
Like, why are you giving up the security of the finances? Mm -hmm. Like, we're in a crazy time right now. Right. Yeah. And you're going to give up all these things right. to go into what some would consider a pipe dream. Mm -hmm. You know, like. But that's where your faith has to be strong exactly. or else it's not. I right. mean, you will be swayed. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, you have to be strong mm -hmm. in your faith. Yeah. Seeking from the past Absolutely. or getting that confirmation, right. praying into it. Mm -hmm. Like, doing all the right things yeah, is right. so important. Yeah. And don't get me wrong. It, it's, it was, it's so easy. It's so easy just to quit and say, and throw in the towel. Sure. Like, okay. Yeah, this is not worth it. It's so easy to say that on a daily basis if you let if you let yourself mm -hmm. get in that mindset um, and just give up. Say you know those word negative words trickle in. It's like you know give up. This is not for you. Let someone else who's more qualified to do this. You know what are yeah. you what are you doing here? You know those thoughts do cro come across sometimes if you let it. But it's just once again, it's just like the Lord placed me placed me here in this specific time period in my life. That's good. And um, you know you just have to stick to that and. You know, keep it right here. Yeah. And given my age, my age is a, is a another thing in itself. I'm considered, you know, a little old for this profession because uh, most of my academy. I didn't even think about age. <laughs> That's not even something that I thought okay. about. Well, it, within the uh, this transition, yeah. My classmates, they were all in their twenties, you yeah. know, and I was the third oldest in the class, and. You know, I was always reminded of, you know, your age, you know, mm. being called, what are you doing here, old man? <laughs> you know, you know, and uh, so that played a big role, too. And it's like, yeah, well, I mean, go back <clears throat> to the Lord, like, Lord, you place me yeah. at, at my, my age. So, you know, my abilities and capabilities, but you give me supernatural wisdom. You're wiser. That's what it is. It's the wisdom. Yeah. You'll yeah. be able to. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and this gray hair, by the way, is compliments of the <laughs> academy. I never had gray hair until the, until this year, so this is hey. Oh my gosh, true story. <laughs> true story. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. So, um, we ask one question here constantly with every one of our people that come. Um, I hope you know it's coming, <laughs> but it is the house is what makes winners in life. Yeah. Is what we are Making all about. Winners in life. Making winners in life. It's something that we just live and breathe here. Mm -hmm. And we always love to hear, what does that mean to you specifically for those that serve? For me specifically, being a winner in life is placing others' needs before yours and not being selfish in, in everything. So it, be, having that self-awareness is, mm -hmm. you know, not being selfish, basically. Yeah. You know, that, to me, that makes you a winner in life. Awesome. You know, it is, it's not money. It's not materialism. It's none of that stuff. It's, to me, it's overall being a good human being. You know, uh, and just, you know, just serving others, whether it be helping someone, your next neighbor, mow, mow their lawn, you know, changing the tire. You know, to me, that makes you a winner in life. Mm. I love that answer. Me too. I don't think we've heard that. We have not. <laughs> that <laughs> good. I like that answer. Every answer gets different. Yeah. So it's like, that's why I like being here. Hear them all. Put them all together. Serving others. Serving others. Love it. Mowing lawns is what I it's heard. It's easier said than done, lawn. too. Yep. It is. It is. Because, you know, so many people don't want to be inconvenienced. Yes. Sure. You know, as a society, they don't want to be inconvenienced. But it just takes a few minutes out of your time, you know. Uh, yeah. And it goes a long way. This is the perfect example of someone we want to be, like, serving our community. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Like, you definitely have to have a servant's heart. And sure. I've always had that. I always consider myself... One of the good guys. Yeah. Uh, you know, because I always saw police officers, they're, they're the unsung heroes. Yes. Because you know, a lot of stuff goes on behind the scenes that people are unaware of what mm. goes on. And, yeah. not, and not just the dangers, but just other aspects, even just, you know, the small little uh, nuggets that get deposited into the community that yeah. no one sees. Because mm. everyone sees, like, loves seeing the, the negative things, but the small stuff, the small gestures, they don't go, they go unnoticed for the most part, but... Well, we noticed yeah. you good, sir. Yes. Right? And we appreciate you. Yes. And this has been, thank you for being here, yes, man. Thank we you so much. are so happy thank that you. you're on this team in this house and that you're here serving with us. It's awesome. And I I'm, love the security team at this church. They're awesome. We have, yeah, they're a great group of guys. We great have an amazing team. We have an amazing you team. Do. Yeah. We are, yeah, I always feel like just very safe good. in this building. Mission accomplished. Yes, oh. I love it. <laughs> I love well, it. Well, Officer Guantero, thank you so much for thank being you. here. Thank, thank you. you guys. Thank you all for uh, tuning in, whether you're listening or you're watching this. This has been fantastic. Um, you can check us out next Friday for another amazing winning conversation. See us on all the iTunes podcasts, all, all the, the places, YouTubes, all, the, all the channels, <laughs> all the socials. We are on Instagram and all the good stuff. But uh, we can't wait to see you next Friday. Okay, have a good one.